And so now the company or agency or organization or department decides that, hey, we want to focus on equity inclusion. And they're like, when am I time to do this? When am I going to have any energy? When am I going to have the soul space, the energy to do this work? Because this is not... I was talking to someone I, who a respected mentor of mine. And it's hard to find that energy sometimes. Um, and I'm trying to be honest about that. To create the heart space and the, the strength to do it. Um, however, I, I want to remind people of Sometimes when we feel our weakest, when we feel like we have nothing left, um, we actually have a wealth of strength and fire and a depth of energy that sometimes we um, we forget it's there, or you know things have been so hard and we've been tapping from that source so much, we feel quite depleted and we are literally are tired. So no doubt, I guess I've been there too. You know. You know, one of the things I was, I'm reminded of is my great grandfather, and he was a, a he was a pretty short man who dressed well and, and uh, looked well. Anyhow, um, he would say the same thing all the time. You know, there's joy in the morning. There's a sense of things will get better. This will pass. And, and the way I think about that is, in, in some of my darkest days, um, there's been some pretty dark ones that um, I've closed my eyes, and I've woken up, and even when sometimes I wasn't sure I wanted to always wake up because things just seem so bad. Um, you wake up and you're like, okay, I get another chance. And I know for a lot of folks who've been working these 12, 13, excuse me, 14 hour days, they're like, ugh, I don't, I don't have anything left. And then some time goes by and maybe it is six weeks or maybe it's six months or even a year. And they're like, maybe I can do this now. And that's, that's okay too.